All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, we're still at the car show, and I wanted to feature another sweet ride from a really close friend of mine. This dude built some of the sickest trucks, cars, you name it. His name is Terry Payne, and he's got one sick Bronco. So let's check it out. All right, Terry, what's going on, brother? What's up, brother? How you been? Man, I love him like a brother. I'm doing great, dude. You know why I'm doing great? You know why I'm doing great? Because you got a baby now. Well, not that, because you actually, yeah. <laughs> let me back up. <laughs> let yeah, me let back your up. wife hear that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> She's going to see that. Well, I'm actually super excited because you came out and you brought your beautiful Bronco to share with us and to talk to us about it. So it's a Bronco. It's a Bronco. <laughs> So let's start with the basics, right? So what what level, trim level Bronco is this? This is a 2021 uh, Bronco Badlands Advance, uh, non-Sasquatch. Funny part was, was that when we got it, uh, it had all basically all the same thing as the Sasquatch except 35 inch tires. And it doesn't have the big screen, it has a 10 inch, which I like that better. I don't need something to blind me when I'm driving. I'm legally blind. But uh, we started out with it and uh, the first deal about it was, was you know I was just gonna drive it but then anybody that knows me knows that that don't last very long of course you're shaking your head yes you yeah, know I know that uh, we started out simple just doing some things and uh, it turned into hey Terry if you'll build it we'll take it to SEMA and I was like okay so we'll build it uh, bought it February 28th in uh, Maybank Texas I had 373 miles they were bringing it out of the showroom floor I traded off my 392 Wrangler for it i uh, got a really good deal on it, and uh, I said, let's see what we can do with it. Uh, next thing you know, we started piecing things together. We ended up with a PIS, got in with us, got involved, sent me a set of their brand new 22 by 12, 560 uh, black wheels. Uh, of course, we took it down and had them uh, powder coat the wheels uh, to match the paint. It was cyber orange. Uh, next thing, contacted DVA, talked to Missy Verdun up there. Um, she got me hooked up with uh, front and rear MTO bumpers. Uh, it came with a 12,000 pound worn winch that we have involved. P3, P3 billet. Uh, we took the uh, shackles and the hooks, powder coated them to match. Uh, ended up going DV8 side steps. And of course, you know, as a partner with uh, Ford Air Design, we, we had to add Adam. I, I do a lot of sales for them. They're great people. So we added their hood scoop and their door guards. If you've got a Bronco, get a set of the door guards. You will love yourself. We also got them for F-150s and everything else. Great add-on, you can get them right through your Ford dealer. You will be thankful. It stops all the door dings. So you can get them right through your Ford dealer. So right here. Right get there. Get them out here at Lee Johnson. Go right up there to the parts department, tell them you need a set of door guards for your truck. They'll hook you up. That's cheap awesome. too. Really good, really good and really cheap. Uh, of course, then we went with the KC 50 inch light bar. Uh, the KC Slim Light added the amber lenses. We added uh, Heist lights down here, blacked out lasers, along with the DV8 one. Of course, the 12,000 pound winch. It was looking good. Uh, it started just basically talking to me. Uh, we started doing some other things with it, and I said, okay, let's just go all out. And so we ended up going with four wheel parts warehouses, uh, three and a half to five and a half adjustable coilover lift. Went down, and once we got the lift done, we had it all powder coated also through precision powder coating. My boys over at NTX Auto uh, Innovations and NTX All Terrain took care of putting this all together for me. We had custom badging cut for it, mirrors of the Broncos, of course, you can't leave the interior alone, so we had the Texas seats come in and do some marine grade leather and color stitching for us. Uh, we went with exposed rack because we do run around with our top down all the time. We want to throw the bikes up on top or throw kayak up on top. We can throw it down on these two racks. Uh, went around. It was running good, sounding normal. So, of course, you know, we're nothing about normal. Yeah. We had to change the exhaust and we put in the new uh, Flowmaster dual exhaust on it. Uh, this thing only has a 2.3 liter four cylinder. 
We're running on 35, 13, 50, 22s. Um, everybody says, oh, well, you're gonna eat your gas mileage up, blah, blah, blah. Actually, we're averaging 16.7 miles to the gallon with this thing. Wow. It's amazing. Um, yesterday, we went and uh, picked it up from my buddies over there at MTX uh, Audio Innovation. Of course, they added some new tower speakers for the back for all our friends to make sure they can hear us before they see us. We got around and it was looking good. We took the fuel fest, it was a normal color. Um, the cyber orange it looked really pretty, really sexy, but I had to have something different. Don't like being like everybody else, so we fender deleted it. I got with uh, Jason Brozak out of uh, Kyle, Texas with just the dips, and he sprayed this. This is a plastic dip, this is not a wrap. This yeah. is plastic dip spray, took him five days. He did an amazing job on this. There's not another one in the nation like it. Uh, we were in some kind of contest. I didn't even know I was in this contest, and it got voted the baddest Bronco in the state of Texas. Now, we got some bad Broncos here. Yeah. And for me to get that, that kind of just blows my mind, because I don't think I should have got it, but, you know, they said I did. Um, the only other thing that I can think about that I can tell you about it is that I love it. It's going to SEMA. It'll be in Pistol Peak Racing Liquids booth in the West Hall. Make sure if you're coming out, y'all come by and say hi. Um, we did get put in a magazine. Uh, oh, August yeah. issue, it'll be out. Stance Auto Magazine will have it out in their issue. And then Pass Mag Trucking Magazine will have it out in September. And we're supposed to do an episode with two men in a garage and uh, right before SEMA and uh, the end of September, 1st of October. So y'all stay tuned. Well, we've got these big wheels, these big tires, this big lift. What about the horsepower? 345 horses right now because a certain friend of mine tuned it for me. Uh, like I said, it's got the four cylinder. But while you're talking about that, we all know that the Broncos have the ugliest engine bay. You know, they didn't come out with an engine cover for it. Let's do a little tweak here. If you have the 2.3 liter four cylinder Ford Ranger cover, fits it perfectly. So that's from a Ford Ranger? That's from a brand new Ford Ranger. Oh, It'll wow. go right on it, covers it up, dresses your engine up, makes it look sexy. Really we good. also added the little hood struts there. Oh, okay. Chad, you definitely want this little, uh, nice little engine cover there. Yeah. You can also get that through Ford, $108, and it comes with the nuts and bolts. And bolts right on. <laughs> That's awesome, Mr. Terry. But, Alrighty, guys. Uh, and what is your social media, your Facebook, Instagram? My Facebook, is, my Instagram is RDM Builds. Uh, my YouTube is RDM Builds. You can find me there, RDM Builds. Alrighty, Give us a guys. hollow and a follow. And if you want to see this truck at SEMA, you already know where to find them. Pistol Pete's Racing Liquids, West Hall. All righty, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brian. Y'all have a good one. All Congratulations right. on the baby again. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. That's going to wrap up today's video. We're here at this car show. We're interviewing some pretty sweet rides found here in Texas. Now, if you guys like these videos, hit that like button. Leave a comment below and check out one of these two videos. Until next time, guys. Peace out.